and welcome to HW News. The elections for the upper house of the parliament were held on Friday and the results of which were declared late in the evening. The total vacant seats in Rajya Sabha were 24. However, on the five seats, candidates won without any opposition. The result for this was declared earlier as well. Out of these five seats in two states, BJP backed three seats. In total, the BJP now has won 10 out of the total 24 seats. This has given a significant push to the BJP and the NDA in the upper house. While the BJP and NDA enjoy the majority in Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha is where the challenge lies for them. However, since 2014, the party is also trying to spread its footprints in the upper house of the parliament. After this Rajya Sabha election, the current strength of Rajya Sabha will go up to 244, of which BJP now has significant 86 members and the NDA's tally goes beyond 100. Congress, on the other hand, has 41 MPs, while other parties have 27 MPs. Now, voting was held for 19 seats spread across 8 states including Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Andhra Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya and Mizoram. Two significant events that happened yesterday, one in Rajasthan and another in Madhya Pradesh that caught everyone's attention. A Congress Madhya Pradesh MLA turned up to vote in a PPE kit. He was coronavirus positive. However, he came to the assembly, he voted and after he had voted, the entire building premises was disinfected. Now, similar thing happened in Rajasthan where an MLA also apparently turned up to vote in a PP kit. While in the other state, the polling went on without any hindrance. It was in Gujarat where the nail-biting contest took place between BJP and the Congress party. It ended with BJP winning three seats and the Congress party winning only one seat. Let us now have a look at the results in detail. Let's first talk about Manipur. In this state, BJP won one seat. Elections in Manipur were very interesting as polling took place in the backdrop of the resignations of three ruling BJP MLAs and six others withdrawing their support from the Birin Singh government. Despite the political crisis, the ruling BJP pulled out a stunning win. Its candidate and the state's king, L. Sanajauba, defeated veteran T. Mangi Babu of the Congress party. Now, BJP candidate received 28 votes while Babu only got 24 votes. Three BJP MLAs of the nine who had resigned from the assembly, from the house and primary membership of the party did not cast their votes. One TMC MLA who declared support for the Congress party also did not cast his vote. Three Congress defectors and one disqualified MLA were also not allowed to vote. All the four NPP MLAs, however, cast their vote. Let us now look at Gujarat. Here, BJP won three seats and Congress party won only one seat. In Gujarat, the BJP retained its dominance as it won three of the four seats. Now, let me tell you that both the party knew that BJP could won two seats comfortably, but there was a challenge for the last one seat, whereas Congress party was confident that it can win one seat comfortably without any problem. The problem was only for the last seat, that is the fourth seat, where both the parties had fielded their candidates. Now, the Congress won, as I said, one seat. The counting process, however, was delayed due to the objections raised by the Congress party. The Congress was demanding from the Election Commission of India to declare as invalid two BJP votes on different grounds. The Congress sought cancellation of votes cast by BJP MLA Kesri Singh Solanki and Minister Bhupendra Singh Chudasma. However, the Election Commission of India rejected the demand upholding the report given by the election observer. Abhay Bharadwaj, Ramila Ben Bara and Narhari Singh Amin of the BJP and Shakti Singh Gohil of the Congress party were declared as winners. Former Union Minister Bharat Singh Solanki, a second candidate fielded by the Congress opposite to Narhari Amin, lost. Now let's have a look at Rajasthan where Congress party, the ruling party, had won two seats and BJP backed one seat. In Rajasthan, the ruling Congress, as I said, backed two seats out of total three. 
while K.C. Venugopal and Neeraj Dangi were declared elected from the Congress's side, BJP's Rajendra Gehloth won comfortably. The Saffron Party's second candidate, Omkar Singh Lakhavat, was however defeated. With this, the number of Congress's Rajya Sabha MPs from Rajasthan has increased to 3 out of total 10 and the rest 7 seats are still with the BJP. Let's now look at Madhya Pradesh where BJP won 2 seats whereas Congress party bagged 1 seat. Former Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Digvijay Singh and BJP candidate Jyotiraditya Sindhya and Sumer Singh Solanki won for the Rajya Sabha seat from Madhya Pradesh. The Congress's other candidate, Dalit leader Ful Singh Bariya, lost this particular election. Dikvijay Singh is returning to Rajya Sabha for a second consecutive term. On the other hand, Jyoti Raditya Sindhya is entering the upper house of the parliament for the first time and that too as a BJP candidate. He had contested Lok Sabha election unsuccessfully last year on a Congress ticket. Now, Digvijay Singh backed 57 votes, Jyoti Raditya Sindhya backed 56 votes and Solanki backed 55 votes. According to the Election Commission, votes of BJP MLAs Gopilal Jatav and Jugal Kishor Bagdi were cancelled for technical reasons. A Congress MLA who has contracted coronavirus arrived in an ambulance wearing a personal protection equipment kit. He was the last person to cast vote for this assembly election. Let us now move to Jharkhand where BJP has won uh, one seat and JMM Jharkhand Mukti Morcha has also bagged one seat. In Jharkhand, former Chief Minister and JMM Supremo Shribu Soren and the BJP State Unit President Deepak Prakash won the two seats that were allotted to the state. Congress candidate Shehzada Anwar finished third by bagging only 18 votes. This will be Shibu Soren's third term as a Rajya Sabha member and Deepak Prakash's maiden term in the upper house of the parliament. Let's look at Andhra Pradesh. In Andhra Pradesh, the ruling YSR Congress party won all the four seats that were up for grabs for Rajya Sabha. Andhra Pradesh was clean sweep for Jagan Mohan Reddy. Its candidates Pilli Subhash Chandra Bose, Mopi Devi Venkata Ramana, Parimal Nathwani and Ayodhya Rami Reddy were elected with 38 votes each. The opposition Telugu Desam party, which had forced the contest despite not having the numbers, lost badly. Its candidates Varla Ramaya secured only 17 votes against its technical strength of 23 in the assembly. Let's move on to Meghalaya, where MDA won one seat. The ruling Meghalaya Democratic Alliance candidate Mr. Roy won the lone seat in the state. Roy defeated Congress candidate by a margin of 20 votes. The last state is Mizoram where Mizo National Front backed the one seat. The ruling Mizo National Front won the lone Rajya Sabha seat here. Party candidate secured 27 votes out of the total 39 which were polled to defeat his arch rival from Zoram People's Movement. He got only 7 votes of his party MLAs. Congress nominee could only manage to get 5 votes. Now, after this particular Rajya Sabha election, the strength of the BJP and the NDA in Rajya Sabha has gone up by 10 and that will be significant in the upcoming monsoon session of the parliament. Do let us know what you think in the comment box below. For more news and updates, you can log on to www.hwnews.in. हमारे घरों में भी बच्चे होते हैं जो हमसे प्यार दुलार की आस करते हैं हमारा भी जीवन साथी है जिसको हमारे ड्यूटी से घर आने का इंतजार होता है हमारे घर में भी एक बूढ़ी मां है जिनके लिए आज भी हम ही आंखों के तारे हैं लेकिन हम हमारे घरों में नहीं है आपकी सुरक्षा में कोई कसर रहे इसलिए हम अपने प्रयोजनों से दूर है हम में से ही कुछ तो अब इतने दूर जा चुके हैं कि वो वापस अपने घरों को लौट भी नहीं पाएंगे हमें गर्व है कि हमारे कंधों पे मुंबई शहर के नागरिकों की सुरक्षा की जिम्मेदारी है हमारे जज्बे और बलिदान को व्यर्थ न जाने दें नाउ बी द फर्स्ट टू नो अबाउट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स ऑन आवर न्यू न्यूज़ ऐप गो ऑन योर एंड्राइड और आईओएस सर्च फॉर एचडब्ल्यू न्यूज़ नेटवर्क डाउनलोड आवर ऐप चूज द लैंग्वेज यू प्रेफर टू गेट अपडेट्स इन एंड बी अप टू डेट विद द लेटेस्ट न्यूज़
If you like this video, please share it and we would love to hear your comments in the comments section down here. Also, please do like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter to get minute to minute news updates. For more such shows and videos, well, subscribe to our YouTube channel.